What's going on? I'm Sam. It's a great morning. I'm gonna go sell this jack and uh, then I gotta ship some snails. I'm loving this new Civic. It's it's actually really cool. I usually don't mess with paint, but in this case, I think I might. I usually meet people at a Kroger or a Walmart. It looks like this guy ended up going to the wrong Kroger, so I'm on the way to that Kroger now to meet him to sell this jack. Well, I met up to sell that jack, and it turns out it's actually leaking. I definitely should have checked that first, and I feel really bad for having that guy come out and waste his time just to find that out. So I lowered the price, said it's leaking. Hopefully Hopefully that will sell soon. One thing that irks me is when people kind of make their own time to meet without confirming. I just had that happen with this shop vac where the guy was like, I'll meet you at 135 without waiting for me to reply and I was getting these snails ready to ship so I didn't see it till it was too late and I don't know he's probably mad at me because he either showed up or didn't show up I don't know I don't feel too bad because when you're meeting with someone you definitely should wait for them to confirm that they're gonna meet you at the time you say it's all good if he gets back to me I'll sell it to him otherwise there's someone else who probably wants it and we'll just see what happens but I'm at the post office now so I gotta ship out these snails what are you guys doing back there? Huh? You wanna go shipping stuff too? Okay, my actual breeding colony is here. It looks like everyone came okay. I haven't unpacked them all yet, but I'm gonna do that real quick. So those first fish I bought, there were a few problems with them. The first one was they came with a bacterial infection uh, it probably wasn't ick. It probably was just a uh, bacterial infection. They ended up stabilizing, but I did lose about half of them. So that wasn't cool. They were way too big to be a breeding colony for a 55 gallon tank. The bigger the fish are, the more room they need to breed. And these guys were like six or seven inches where the new ones I bought are about maybe four inches at the max. So not only were they too big to probably ever breed in that tank, they were also producing a lot of waste where the water changes were crazy just because they were so big they'd eat so much and produce so much waste that I was almost not able to keep up with these water changes. So right now I have them in the aquaponics system. So all the nitrates, instead of having to flush it out as a water change, will go into my plants. So it's gonna be a lot more stable and better for them and me overall. I probably wasted money by buying these thinking they were a breeding colony. They weren't really a breeding colony, they were more or less just random fish, and I'm not even sure they were sexed correctly. Uh, w from what I was looking at, they weren't necessarily what the seller said they were, and I saw someone else comment the same thing. I don't think the seller had purged them before they had shipped. I had got overnight shipping for them, and the bag was just spiked through the roof with ammonia, versus these guys. They did do a better job packaging them, because they packaged everyone individually but it took two or three days for me to get them and their water is pretty clear nothing like the first ones i ordered and i know the seller purged these because they told me but i didn't ask about the first one i'm pretty sure they didn't so i'm not really happy with that purchase but it looks like these new ones are actually from a tilapia breeder versus someone selling random fish they had ended up sending me replacement fish but those pretty much had the same problems and i lost some of them as well and I'm just really not happy with that first seller. I should have done my research and bought from a more reputable company. The one I wanted to buy from had a two month waiting period so I didn't get those. But I'm hoping these guys will work out great and the other guys will just be great for my aquaponics system. I'm gonna let these guys get acclimated a little longer and then let them loose. Since I had two males and six females and all of them came alive, I ended up splitting them up into both tanks. So now, the big tilapia are out in the IBC tote, they're happy, and these little guys have a huge tank to themselves. The flower pots might be a little too big now that I got smaller fish, so I might end up buying them a slightly smaller flower pot today. I'm super excited everyone showed up super healthy, and I'm going to let them adjust and give them a week or two and see if they start producing any fishy fry for me. I also changed out the real yellow light for this uh, not too bright light I had laying around. I ordered another light that will fit this aquarium and that should be in in a couple days. It took me a while setting these guys up, but now I gotta go and finally sell that shop vac. So let's go do that. We just sold that shop vac. I got a couple bucks for it and now I think we're going to... Hmm. 
Well, I started picking up some of the scrap metal and stuff I had laying around, but it looks like someone wants to come by this nook, so we're gonna go do that real quick. One of the main things I gotta do for the city is get this ambulance out of my driveway, so I'll probably try doing that tonight and moving it to my storage unit. We were borrowing this from my old boss, so I'll probably try moving it tonight and getting it out of here. Okay, I just sold that nook. We got a few more dollars, so we're doing good today. I'm probably gonna finish the day off by working outside, cleaning the rest of my yard up before the city comes, and then trying to get that ambulance out of here. Tomorrow, I'll try and clean out all my vehicles and list a few for sale because I'm having a cash flow problem right now, and the more cash I could get, the better. So I'm just gonna start listing more of the things I have, and if I need it, I can buy it back later. Well, I got my yard cleaned up a little bit. It's getting really late, but I'm gonna take this ambulance to my storage space right now. So I gotta do that before it gets even darker. We're in the ambulance chilling in the middle of nowhere because I guess my ride lost me and their phone's dead. So my phone's actually about to die too. Otherwise I might get an Uber. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go park this now or if I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow. I can't even order an Uber if my phone dies, but I might wait on this highway for just a little bit longer and see if anyone gets a hold of me. So I got it here okay. I got a call and I'm probably gonna get a ride here in a minute. But I haven't shown you guys the inside of this thing, and it's pretty sweet, so let's take a look inside. Hi, buddy. This thing is decked out with two computers, uh, fully capable of flying some UAVs. It was our MGCS, or Mobile Ground Control Station. It was a really cool project to work on. We had made another trailer and another truck and sold to a local college. I didn't work too much on this one, I was mostly finishing things up, but there was a trailer that I did a lot of work on and I'm really proud of that one. This is from the company that I was the chief engineer at a few years ago, and I still think this thing's really cool. There's a generator on this so that if I fired it up I could play with these computers right now, but we're not going to do that. Um, I'm just going to get out of here and wait for a ride. The first time I drove this thing I thought it was going to be too much because it's so large. It's actually really fun to drive. It's pretty big but it corners really well surprisingly. The turn radius is even better than some modern cars. But it's a beast to drive and I really enjoy it. I think that was the city's biggest issue so now that that's out of my driveway I should be good to go. What's that? <laughs> Come on. Come here. Come here, come sit down. Come see it. This probably looks pretty sketchy because now we're sitting on the street corner. Uh, this is the highway that our ride should be coming down. So as long as they don't get completely lost, I'll be able to flag them down and we'll be able to get home without taking the ambulance back. When I first lost communication, I was thinking about doing an Uber, but I forgot I had this guy with me and I don't think dogs are allowed in Ubers. I didn't have a leash with me, so I had to get creative with this piece of plastic. I'm home. I'm glad I got that ground control station out of here. I also got the driveway cleaned up a little more. So by the time the city comes to check on me again, I should be all clear. I gotta get to bed because I'm gonna go help a buddy with his CNC tomorrow, and I wanna wake up early to see what's going on in the stock market. And if you want to see what I'm doing in the stock market, make sure you click that link in the description and join my Facebook group for free. Oh, and before I go, I want to show you these tilapia one more time. They're all settled in great, and it makes me feel a lot better that all of these are alive and healthy. Because when more than half of the others passed away, I was really sad. It is looking like it was more of that seller and the fish they were supplying. Because now that I bought from a reputable breeder, it looks like everyone's healthy and there's no infections or fish dying at all. Versus last time was really just awful in general. Hopefully these guys will start breeding in the next couple weeks, but I'm going to let them do their thing. Well, I got to get to bed, so I'll see you guys in the next video.